Hey guys, this is just a quick simple video about uh, how to add the uh, bed level calibration into Cura. Saves going through Thingiverse and hoping that the, what they've downloaded G codes any good because uh, I know I've downloaded a few and they just haven't worked right or they've just started going all over the place but at least if it's already in Cura, Cura's made it so uh, it works right for me it should work right for everyone else so uh, yeah let's get to it first we go into marketplace this is if you haven't already got calibration shapes uh, a lot of my videos are, are of calibration shapes and g-code at the minute uh, i'll be getting to the harder stuff like uh, custom supports and uh, uh, using the mesh tool in due course I'm just getting through all of the basic videos first so uh, calibration shapes click on that click on install then it'll ask you to quick it'll t ask you to agree first sorry then it'll ask you to quit cura after so you quit cura restart it sorry my processor isn't that good we're back so once you are once your cure is back open again you'll have a new extension called parts for calibration if you want to use any of these other things i'll say again like my other videos press copy scripts then go off cure it and come back onto it again restart it guys and then all the uh, g-code modifiers will all be on here for your retraction tests your temp towers and all that good stuff right so we're at a bed level calibration pretty simple click on it it's all there uh, this is set at 18.4 centimeters by 18.4 centimeters by 0.21 height don't know why it's 0.21 but hey ho uh, this is obviously good for my mega s this is uh, probably 10 mil shorter than my bed itself only because i've uh, i've changed the clips so i don't like it hitting the clips all the time it does me head in so uh, yeah if you want it any bigger then turn off uniform scaling and scale up say my trunksy is uh, 30 millimeters bigger uh, i keep this point uh, i keep this five mil smaller than my actual bed so you turn off uniform scaling you up 20 percent and up 20% and there's your bed level so yeah, we'll click slice let's have a little look oh, let's look through our settings first we're at point 0.2 layer height so that's right for the test and we want to find our adhesion watch speeds guys as well uh, your initial layer speed and your skirt and brim speed around 30, 25 to try to not go to 20 that's too slow, my tender were clogs so I want my adhesion type which I am going to use skirt with three lines uh, at 5mm and we'll slice this and you'll see why I've just changed the skirt in 5mm preview right so as you can see if it was 10mm it would have been out of my border for my skirt I'm going to be using my skirt because it's a lot less filament to, to uh, basically be the first of my test to go around so if it's too low if the nozzle's too low then uh, I can adjust it as I need to if the nozzle's too high I won't lose too much filament and time so uh, that's your first test 
and then your fine tune will go around all these. That is pretty much everything. Obviously you can see your path where it's going. Starting at the bottom bottom right corner, not sure why. But yeah, that's that's how it wants to go. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know how to change that if you ever asked me to change it, but I, that's not particularly how I'd want it doing. I'd want it doing each corner first and then going into a diamond probably and then the centre. Well, th no, the centre first, then each corner, then into a diamond. But well, we might get round to that, might mess with some G-codes and have a see. But yeah, that's how you do it. You save it to your SD card, you send it to your printer, job's done. Right, cheers guys.